welcome back to the channel. We are back with another free video. So in this in today's video, we are going to know up a processing tool which is called as ChatGPT, which is making everything so easy to learn for students, for the coders, for developers, in order to decode the program, in order to learn programming, and in many ways. So let us find out how we can use this ChatGPT. First, let us know the people who don't know what is this ChatGPT. Let us see what is ChatGPT. Just go to your Google and type in chat GPT. This is an open AI tool which is going to give you answer for any of your questions. Now here you can see as the introduction to this chat GPT, we have trained a model called chat GPT which interacts in a, controversial, in a controversial way. The dialogue format makes it possible for chat GPT to answer follow up questions admit its mistakes, challenge incorrect premises, and reject inappropriate requests. So let us try this out here. You just have an option to try ChatGPT. Once when you're going to try this, ChatGPT it is going to ask you to log in. If you have already logged in, it is just going to redirect you to this page. And here inside this page here, you have a small chat box here. Here you can ask any sort of questions. Now let us ask a question to write a code in Java to add two numbers. So let's add right here. You have the question, write a program to add two numbers in Java. Just give an enter. So here it is giving you the answer. You can see it is generating a sort of code for you guys just to add two numbers in Java language. In the same way, you can ask it for Python as well. You can just ask it to write the similar code in Python. So this is how the students, you can make use of this chat GPT in order to learn coding. Now, what if I tell you that you can use your chat GPT in your VS code? Will it not be cool to add this chat GPT extension in your visual code so that you don't have to switch between your Chrome and your Visual Studio now and then? So for that, you have to go to your extension section in your Visual Studio code, click on the extensions, and here you have this marketplace. In your marketplace, add chat GPT. Now recently, the OpenAI has released a new extension as ChatGPT4. So this is a very easy extension. You don't, you don't need to add the API again from the OpenAI website to your Visual Studio code. It is just going to directly link your ChatGPT with your Visual Studio code. Let's try it out. So just click on install here and it is getting installed. Once it has been installed, you can see here that a 4 GPT, chat GPT 4. So this is the fourth version which has been running for the chat GPT. Let's try it out. Now once when I'm going to click here in this chat GPT, it is going to ask me to sign up, log in, or if I already have an account and have forgotten my password, it is for that. Now I don't want to log in. I'm just going to try without an account. Let us see this try without an account now you can see that it has already been added everything is being given for you everything is automatically done now here there are the features ask gpt chat gpt in your ide good for understanding concepts that are general not related to your code base and also if you want to use it for the coding base for understanding how things work specific to the code base requires indexing code base which requires language packs installed for your programming languages now what does it do what does this chat gpt do what are the main features of this chat gpt editor many features ask gpt like what that particular code does how is this a method or the file used then there is a refactor code write unit test case for that particular selected code block then if you want to write a particular code you can also write a particular code now you also can choose between chat gpt 3.5 and 4 in the extension settings. Now let us try with the chat GPT-4 itself. Let us write here. Code to add two numbers in Java. Enter. Now you can see that that particular code that had been generated over there, it is generating for us here. This is how it is giving you the code. In this code, we have declared two integer variables, number one and number two, and initialized them with the values five and 15 respectively. So it is, it has given two numbers specifically and it is generating the value here. Whereas when we had asked it to write here, it was, it had written it in general. You can use this ask code base. This feature requires you to first index your code base. Please select your project folder. Now you need to select your project folder. Select it. I have it. Indexing is completed. Now I just have to ask it to write it in general. 
Java code to add to numbers. You can see that there is a code to add two numbers which is, is more general and not spe less specific than the before one. The way how you are going to give the question, the answer for you will be in that particular way. Now let us add here new file. I'm going to give index.html. Okay, inside this index.html, I'll write HTML5. Now let me just select this meta tag that is there and I'll right click on it. And here you have ask chat GPT. What does this code do to refactor the code, to write a code, to index the code base? Now let us ask what does this do? Now when you are going to ask what does this particular line does, it is going to give you the explanation for that particular line that we have written here. You can also ask, let's add here, write an HTML code to create table 3 cross 3 table. Now you can see that it has created a table for you with three rows and three columns. If you need this, you just need to copy it and you need to add it in your. Now the code is being copied to clipboard, paste it and here you have your three cross three table. And to add the border, obviously you need to mention it table with the border, then it is going to give you the table with borders going to give you border is equals to 1 and all you need to do is border equal to 1. Save this now you also have the border. So this is how you can use your chat GPT to create the code, to debug the code or if you just have some errors or if you do have certain error. Let us write a JS code as well. Now I have given here as write the JS code to add two numbers. Now this it is also giving you the, the content of writing a JS not only one programming language it is also giving you in another programming language that is the JavaScript. So we have tried it for Java, we have tried it for HTML, we have tried it for JavaScript. You can also try it for Python, or Ruby Rails and other Ajax or any of the programming language that you want. This is all for today's video. Meet you again in the next video. Till then use ChatGPT, learn some concepts, make the technology available at your fingertips. To have the future that you want. All the very best. Till then, keep learning. Bye bye.